Hey, what up guys? This is Brad here from Phone Ninja, and today we're going to take apart the Sony Xperia Z3. Now, because this phone is waterproof, we're going to have to remove a lot of adhesive. We're going to start the back glass with the heat gun. Now, after we've applied heat to the back, we're gonna use a feeler gauge to start the process of lifting the rear glass. Now, we generally don't recommend metal tools, but we're gonna use this to start. From there, we're gonna get a spatula plastic tool and start leveraging the rear glass from the adhesive and frame. At first, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. By the way, if you don't have a heat gun, you can also use a hot air gun you can use a hairdryer as long as it's a good one. You're going to use like a prying motion. When you get the edge, you're probably going to reheat that edge as shown here. Again, working your way down the side. Here we get to the edge again. And as you can see, we needed more heat. Be careful, by the way, you want to not get your, your spatula in too far or your guitar pick. The reason is because there are flex cables in there and you can destroy them or just even a little, little, little clip of it will damage the flex. Here we're getting a little bit of leverage out. We're going to remove the adhesive. Now there'll be a lot of adhesive. If you watch other videos, because they're highlight films, they've actually been open before. We are now using tweezers to remove all the adhesive. It's gonna be everywhere and why it's still sticking, you will not be able to remove the red glass. Here we use the tweezers to remove very, very large parts of adhesive. Now, if you've seen other tutorials, you will not see the adhesive. This is the waterproofing. And because it's IP68 and yet an, another improvement over the, the old Z2, there is maybe even more of it. We we'll use a heat gun again here because of the battery adhesive. There's two large globs of adhesive in the battery. That yellow part there you can see is the battery. The reason why we use metal tools despite the fact we don't recommend newbies using them is the fact that it allows us to pry the adhesive off in a much more confident fashion. Obviously with the metal tools, you're, you're using a weaker part and they're, with plastic tools, they're always a lot thicker. Screwdrivers can also be used. Here there is a slight connection between the rear glass and the battery. And we use a combination of the filler and the screwdriver to pry that part off. There we go. Now, a lot of the part suppliers will not tell you the fact that when you do an Xperia Z, you should actually replace the rear glass. You can keep the old one. It's going to take some cleaning up because of all the adhesive left over. There's also a very big chance that you'll cause some cracks. We're just fine by replacing the rear glass that you just 
guaranteed a much better finish. There we go. It's off. Now, you can see there's those two big globs of adhesive in the battery. You can remove this if you want. It's, it's not really required. But if you like a nice clean finish, go ahead. For those of you wondering, the Xperia Z3 is actually not much of a jump over the Z2. It runs the same Snapdragon 801 processor, but it runs it at 2.5 gigahertz rather than 2.3. It's kind of nice that they've actually got the weather phone down a bit, but it's only a couple of grams. Here is a battery connector. We want to pop that off. At this point, we looked on the side. There's actually a battery release. If you pull that up, the battery will pop off. Pretty cool, huh? Now we want to take our focus down to the bottom where we see the reception and the loudspeaker daughter board. There's two Phillips head screws holding this down. We want to unscrew them, of course. There are three connectors and one RF connector. We of course want to pry these off. That's one. That's the second one. And that's the third one. It's a little bit of thermal in there. We want to pull that out. Now there's adhesive holding this down. You need to pry that off. There we go. This is a bracket. You also gonna have to remove this to actually remove the loudspeaker and antenna. We've left the RF connector for quite right late, but just don't forget it. It's that blue wire running down the side of the phone. There's a plastic holder, which we're about to release right now. Let's go. At this point, we need to move the flex cable from the top of the loudspeaker. We're going to use a screwdriver here to pry it off. We want to wiggle this back a bit to give ourselves just a little bit of room where we remove the entire assembly. Now, before we move the assembly, we want to remove the RF connector. You could have done this earlier. That's really up to you. Pop it off and remove the loudspeaker assembly, like so. Now we have exposed what is the, the bracket for the LCD flex. We've still got a few more little flex cables sitting on top here, so we want to remove it just like this one here. There's a little pad here that we have to remove as well. Again, use your screwdriver for this, since it's all metal anyway. There 
and pop off the middle bracket, which actually exposes the LCD flex. Pop off the screen connector like so. Move that back. and pop off the film. Now we need to unstick the LCD flex cable from the mid frame, like so. Pry that up. Once we've got this off, we'll be able to feed that through to take off the front screen. And like so, it's off. Can wiggle it around. We now need to move our focus to the front screen and we need to remove that in a very, very similar fashion to the rear glass. We're going to, of course, have to apply heat for this one. Now we're going to use a filler gauge to start the process of lifting the front screen. The reason why we do this is because the filler gauge is extremely thin and we can start off the process. Once we removed a bit, we can get the, the spudger tools in there. In this case, we're using the spatula game. Here we find that we haven't actually got enough gap yet. We need to leverage the screen a little bit more. Pay attention to the Sony symbol. Underneath the Sony symbol is the ear speaker. Now, generally what we do is we break off the glass near the Sony symbol. So we get the ear speaker out without any damage. There we go. And that's our ear speaker right there. We want to, again, move any excess adhesive. It just makes the job a lot, a lot easier. We can also crack the glass off the top. It's just glass at this point. It's not the LCD or the touchscreen. With that ear speaker, we want to clean it up later on. Make sure that there's no glass left. the ear speaker is both clean of glass and any adhesive so we can get a good stick on the new screen again you want to work your heat gun down especially from the edges this is generally when there is more adhesive than anywhere else in the phone for those of you wondering about refusing the spirit z3 screen um, in most cases we've found that it, it's not doable in a lot of cases when the Z3s drop, the screen will actually break, smashing both the touch or the LCD. This is something to do with the technology that Sony uses for its screens. Uh, for, exa uh, for example, Samsung, uh, their screens often only break the glass. This is just not the case of Sony, however. As you can see, we're working from the Sony symbol end down. The reason is because the, the connector is actually on the bottom. That'll let us pry and leverage the screen up so we can then push the connector through as we find re release the screen. Again, remove that excess adhesive. As you can see, again, it's quite a long process, but thankfully it's a little bit easier in the rear glass. There's, there's not quite as much adhesive in the center. Now 
you're still gonna have to use your hot air source a few times. Some because adhesive will always stick as you're working your way down the screen. This is the final part of the process. We start to lift the screen off. Now we want to feed the connector through as we do this. We can just pop it. You can see there it pops through and we lift up. And done. Now we've got our mid frame and motherboard. We want to clean up the edges of the screen the reason is because when we put our new screen in, that will just give us a lot better fit, as well as making the adhesive work better. You can run your screwdriver around the edge of the frame. Remember also to clear out your air speaker. Same deal there. You want it as, as nice as possible because you want to stick it down to the new screen. We're going to break this video up into two parts. This is the dis disassembly, and then we'll have the assembly video. Aussie, the process of the Z3 is a lot longer than other phones, simply because of the waterproofing and the amount of adhesive that Sony have used. Alright guys, check out the new video in the links below.